Hi, this is another Video Tech Reviews video review. This time it's for WinX DVD Author, which is previously a pay for program but is now free. This happens to be a Windows only program, but if you're a Mac user, you may like to still check out their website at winxdvd.com because they do do some of their other programs for Mac as well. Here is the program interface you'll see when you first start up. You have this first option here, Video DVD Author, which is basically an all-in-one all wizard. So basically all the steps are in here, or you can select them separately, such as a video to a VOB file, a VOB to DVD compiler, or just the burner. <coughs> Let's start by going to the settings. This is the settings wizard quite basic main page here we can select widescreen or standard PAL NTSC this here DVD 5 or 9 is basically standard DVD or a dual layer you can select how long if you create a menu for your DVD how long you want it to be displayed for you can select the DVD language your options for any subtitles you may wish to include on your DVD and burner options Let's close that and let's select the first one. This is the first step of the wizard. Here you can select to add a video file. Let's see, let's go to my computer, let's go and select really any video file, it doesn't matter for this demonstration. And if we just go It supports many video files, not just AVI, it also uh, selects QuickTime Move files, RM files for real media, real player, uh, it even will do MKV, which is quite good as most programs these days, even though MKV is so popular, a lot don't seem to still support it yet, but this actually will convert MKV to DVD. And it also support MP4 and a few other files such as FLV for Flash to DVD. <coughs> Here you can select whether you wish to create a DVD menu or not. And auto letterbox or not. And there's of course your preview which you can also see changing. Here you have start time and end time on each of the uh, video files you open up or you can select the handle. Here you can also select the widescreen or not here, so you don't have to go into DVD mode. Uh, sorry, I've got a bit of a croaky throat, so I've just had the flu. But anyway, if we go here, you can select up, down, just select the order the clips are in, add or remove extra clips, or go on to the next stage. Here you create your menu. As you, can as you can see, you can select the different uh, backgrounds here. Let's just select anyone. Here is the icon to go in to the movie. We can also add a chapter menu for scene selection, which is good as even some occasional DVDs you buy actual professionally made such as I have the THX version of Hall the original 1978 Halloween on DVD and it's they've done a really good job remastering it but for some reason it doesn't have a DVD chapter selection which just comes across these days as very unprofessional so anyway here you have a back button there's a clip from the movie you can add a chapter menu and if we go here you can select different background for it if you want there's your different chapters there you can use this button here to select more options such as the different sort of uh, mounts you split auto split chapter into two or three chapters and then hit OK things like that you can remove a button add background music to the menu or add some text here is a drop down to select an image file if you want to add an image to your menu you can add a BMP or JPEG 
cancel that for now. And the next stage is the final stage where it opens up your DVD burner. You can give your disc a name, select where you want to output it to, you select NTSC or PAL, select the encoding engine, standard normal quality or for smaller file size or better best quality but it will take longer to convert. You can select also to include deinterlacing or not and hit start. It's eleven o'clock. And then you can burn your disc straight away. And that's basically all the steps. Very easy and quick. It is also supposed to convert to a DVD format in about an hour, which is very fast for a converter. And here if we go back to the main menu, you can see you can convert the video to a VOB. Basically brings up that first step, but then it then you can go to VOB to DVD compiler, which is that step there or just the DVD burner where you can select here select your format such as dual layer or not here add your VOB file here or your DVD folder here and then click next as you can see if I go to here to select different languages for the program you can also hit about as you can see it is a free copy now it used to be a pay for program so it's a very simple program but that's the intention and it's very good because it's very fast it supports lots and lots of different file formats which is really good I'm glad it supports MKV however it is Windows only but they do do some other programs for Mac as I said so you just check out winxdvd.com as you can see down here and thanks for watching this has been a review for WinX DVD author by videotechreviews.com